Hello there, I am Giant Girl with my Pokemon Crystal. In the last part, we took on the second gym leader of uh, Johto. The second gym, I should say, in Johto. Uh, there's a Town City gym, uh, Bugsy, and about four trainers, I think. The They used Bugtop Pokemon in that gym. It was pretty easy. I tried going for an epic who swoops there, but that's that's her, uh, Bugsy's Scyther. I used Quick Attack when it had like 13 HP when my... Uh, when my all of my root had 13 HP and fainted it, but that's okay. And we also caught a Sandshrew and nicked him with Sanders. So it's gonna be one of our permanent team party members. And you can see that Sanders is up front right now at level 9. And Brussel also gained a couple more levels. I think Sandshrew gained 3 levels in the last part, and then Brussel gained like 3 also, because I think Brussel was 8 when it had to be in the last part, and then Sanders was level 6 when we caught it. So, yeah. Let's go on to the Alex voice, but wait! Oh, look who it is. It is Smat, our rival. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What, you beat them? Ha, quit lying. You're not joking? Let's see how good you are. Okay. Now, when I first played this game, like, this battle, for some reason, gave me a lot of trouble because the Ghastly using Curse and the start of Pokemon, whether it be a Croconaw or a Bailey for a Quilava. I don't know, and then the zoo bat was had supersonic, I think, or something, which was really annoying because confusion. But yeah, it's simply. Wait, why is one of my Pokemon fainted? Did I not heal? <laughs> then wait. I don't think I healed, did I? Or did I not? I forget. Who's fainted? Oh, oh no, they have X because of the egg. Okay, I was about to say, like, who fainted? I thought I healed the last part. Oh, whatever, okay, yeah, so let's go with the, um, let's go with the Mudslap, I guess. Now, this Ghastly is two levels higher than, uh, Sandu's, but hopefully we have the type, of, we have the type of advantage. So, hopefully we can take this thing out before it takes us out, or something, you know. Nope, it's gonna use Hypnosis, of course. Hypnosis is also one of the things that really made this battle difficult for me when I first played this game. Aye, 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 okay, let's go for the, um, let's go for Awakening, if we have one. Yeah, we have, we have one like getting G's. I think we have a bear that heals, that can uh, sleep too, but I could be wrong. Let's go Spite. So it's gonna, yeah, Mudsop was just by two. Okay, that's not too bad, depending on how much Mudsop is. Oh, we have ten, okay. So yeah, that's kind of a big problem. Okay, so we have, it's a good thing the Hypnosis missed that time. Good thing, probably because the Mudsop order. It's Accuracy. But yeah, this guy is level 12 of male, if I didn't already say that. So he's look on us, so and Sanders. And your power Sanders, great. But yeah, but Mudsup still hits awesome. So there goes the Ghastly. That's the Sanders good level 10, awesome. Zubat's next. Let's go to, um, Brosol, I guess. Zubat's level 14, okay. Although, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to switch out, you know, because let's go to Blaze then. Let's use Bite on us. Yeah, Bite would have been super effective on so Bro Slow, anyway, so that's good. Let's go for the Ember, it's safe to have protect bonus then. Yeah, it does about one third. Okay, Supersonic, good thing it didn't affect Blaze that time. Cool. I'm really grateful for that because Supersonic's really annoying because Confusion's annoying to deal with. Ah oh, man. Okay, so now uh, Blaze has a 50-50 chance of hitting self confusion or uh or attacking, you know, or doing the move that I tell it to use. But it hit self confusion that time, it's gonna just bite. Okay, let's go for one more ember, hopefully luck will be on our side, and it's not on our side, of course. Okay, we still have another chance. We still have like one more turn before Blaze goes down, but I should heal, but I'm being very cocky here. There we go, but Ember hit that time, awesome. Nice. Cool, good, good, awesome. Okay. Now last is this Qualava. So, let's go to Hoot Hoot, or Oliver, I guess you could say. This Qualava's level 16, okay, cool. Let's go for the- let's try Hypnosis to put it to sleep, because it gives a wheel on us, okay. Or on Oliver, I should say. Nope, Hypnosis didn't try to get then. Jeez. If all else fails, try, try again. 
I don't I don't think I said that saying right, but uh I don't know. I I um, yeah, I don't know. Good thing the hypnosis at that time, awesome, haha. Go for the swift attack. So it's gonna take a couple of swifts, but that's okay. We got this though. We're in good shape, it's gotta be fast as we still awesome. Good thing Swift never misses in this case. So that's good. One more Swift out of this Swift should do it. Yeah, let's do it, yeah. I woke up, I'll get his Ember on us. Okay, well Hypnosis did a job by keeping us asleep for like three turns, so that's awesome. So there we go, nice. Uh, I'll be almost a level 17, awesome. Smat was defeated, awesome, cool. Hmm. Uh, um. Hmm, useless Pokemon. Well, listen, you only won because my Pokemon are weak. Okay, whatever. Thanks for the 960 Poke Dollar, Smat. I hate the weak. Uh, Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter. Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter. What, who, or what? It's, I'm going to be strong and wipe out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket too. They act all big and tough in a group, but they, but get them alone and they're weak. That's true, kinda. I hope, I, I hate them all. You stay out of my way. I, I, I'm, a weak, I think it's a weakling. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Okay. Smat is very com uh, cocky, I should say, and confident, I guess you should say, too. I'm gonna heal up real quick, so I'll be right back. Okay, let's make our way into the Alex Forest, which is just west of Azalea Town. This is this transitional building, I should say. Here we are in the Alex Forest, and, uh, who's up front again? Sanders is up front, okay. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I don't have a repel on, but that's okay. I can just cut out the wild encounters. <laughs> Okay, it's up to you. Oh man, my boss is gonna be steaming. Uh, the farfetch that cuts trees for its charcoal took off on me. I can't go looking for it here in the dark in the Alex Forest. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. Okay, well, I'll do it. Also, we need to cut together on this tree, but we don't have cut yet. I wanted to shut off, dang it. Okay, Sanders just fainted that weedle for experience. Yeah, this tree looks, this tree can be cut. So we can't really move on from there, but like, we have to find the far fetched, obviously. So there it is, right there, and all man in a wall counter. <laughs> that was a cow pee that Sanders fainted with sc two scratches, I should say. It's the missing Pokemon, far fetched qua. Okay, so I think we have to go around it and then, cause if we, it depends on where you As I was trying to say, it depends on where you talk to it, like how, you, how you're positioned when you talk to it. It depends on where, that depends on, that, that kind of varies on where it goes at. I do have a pill in my bag, but I kind of don't want to use one, because I kind of get an experience for Sanders here anyway. With finding all these bug Pokemon, there's a revive, also very worth picking up. Um, go around here, I guess, and uh, go around here, and then we'll surely make it to the far-fetched again. That was a needle, that was another Weedle. So, uh, yeah, here's the far-fetched. Oh my goodness. I, I'm very stubborn. I don't want to put a repel on here. Because it's good expense for Sanders and, uh, possibly, um, possibly Brosol too. Um, if we switch to Brosol eventually. Um, I forget. Do we want to talk to it from this position or this position? I think it's this position, but I could be totally wrong. Oh come on, I was wrong. Okay, trial and error. I met you guys back when I, um, we're gonna get back to, like, where I'm in front of the, behind that far-fetched. Okay, Sanders went to that Kakuna, and now, um, Sanders is in level 1 and an attack. Awesome. So I'm gonna switch to Brosaur next. So, yeah, well, I'm, we're almost where the, um, we're behind that Sanctuary Gear far-fetched again. Okay, nope, of course not. Okay, kind of sped through that transition at the end of the battle, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, cool, um, qua, okay. So now we know to talk to from me. Oh my goodness. Because now we know to talk to it from this position, and then it goes that way. And then I forget, we're gonna go to this position. 
There we go, awesome. No, oh, fudge. Shoot. Okay, as long as... Okay, it's, I honestly don't remember the puzzle, obviously, right here. So it's just a bunch of trial and error, which kind of stinks. Okay, that was a metapod. So we want to talk to it from the side right here. And then it should... Yeah, okay, it should be. We're done, basically. Awesome. Okay, wow, thanks a whole bunch. My boss's Pokemon want to bay because I don't have a badge. Interesting, okay. Qua is what the Farfetch says again. Ah, my Farfetch'd. You found it for me, us, you found it for us, kid. Without it, we wouldn't be able to use, to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Uh, now, how can I thank you? I know, here, take this. We get HM01, which is cut. We should actually want to cut Paris in here if we can find one. So, yeah. We put the HM01 cut in the TM pocket. Cool. That's the cut HM. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the badge, the gym badge for Azalea to use it. Interesting. Cool. So, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and I'm also gonna show you guys how to get the charcoal. Are you kidding me? Okay, I gotta spread through that transition, but I'll meet you guys back outside the Pokemon Center. Okay, so once you. Uh, I found the far fetch in the Alex Force for those two people. They'll be back here at this house, and this guy should give you a charcoal, I think. I'm sorry, f f I forgot to thank you. This charcoal that I made, um, Fire Pokemon would be happy to hold that. We get the charcoal, awesome, which raises the power of fire type moves, awesome. Yeah. Let's talk to you again. The Slowpoke came back, and you, you didn't even you even found far fetched. You're the cool, you're the coolest man, thanks. So, yeah. So instead of buying charcoal for like 9,800 Poké Dollars at the Pokémon, you can actually um, just uh, get one for free. Actually, and one's all I need really, because I only have one Fire type really. So I'm gonna give that to Blaze. So yeah, made Blaze hold the charcoal. Cool. Um, do I want to buy more repels? How many repels do I have? I have three repels. Okay, I'm gonna buy like three more repels. That should be good. I don't, I don't want to run into so many wild encounters, honestly, in the Alex Forest. If I don't have to, so this, that's why I'm going to buy a repulse here, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. This other repulse is awesome. One, two, three. That's cool. Cool, nice. So, with that, we can go back to the Alex Forest and get through it and uh, have some fun, yeah. Also, I think a day's passed so I can pick up my Pokeball for, from uh, Kurt, I guess. We won't do that right now. Ah, uh, Steven, I just finished the ball, you, uh, your ball here. We get the fastball, nice. Cool. We put the fastball in the ball's pocket. That turned out great. Uh, try catching Pokemon with it. And I think we don't have any more white apricots or anything, but here we can get another white apricot, I think. Yeah, white apricot. So we can get another fastball, so you have to give it, you have to give Kerr another, the white apricot so you can make another fastball, I guess. Which I think works on fast Pokemon when you're trying to catch it. I don't think it's like a quick ball as soon as you use it in battle, like the first turn. It'll have a high chance of catching it, but I could be wrong. I'll make balls for Apple coins, collect that, okay, yeah. I'll make balls of them. Would you have a card for me? Fine, I'll turn to the Would you have a like Apple coins? Yes. So, like, cool. I'll take a day to make you a ball. Come back for it later. Cool. So, let me read the description of Fastball just to be sure. But I'm pretty sure it only works on Fastball. It looks really good on Fast Pokemon, is what it says. Okay, a ball that can catch fast Pokemon. Cool. Nice. That's good to know. Let's make our way back to the Alex Force. I'm pretty sure it's always going to be dark. Depending, depending, always when you're playing. I'm playing at like 7.30 in the morning, really. But the Alex Force is always dark. I should, uh... Although, I'm going to try to find a Paris, too. Because it needs... I'm going to teach, teach Paris uh, Flash and Cut. Because it makes a good HM slate for those two moves. For those two HMs. So, I'm going to cut to where I find a Paris. So, uh, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, bro, so I grew to level 12, as you see right there. Awesome. So, I'm gonna try to find a Paris. I'm still looking for a Paris, though. Okay, we found- I found a Paris. That's because level 6 in male. Cool. Let's go for the tackle attack. And, let's see what she does. About one third. Okay, cool. She's gonna scratch on us. Okay, I'm slow pro, so I should say my slow poke. But, yeah. Um, yeah, puts in the red. Awesome, nice. So let's throw a Pokeball at it. And hopefully we can catch this thing. There's six more Pokeballs after this, awesome. So there we go, it goes in the Pokeball. Let's see how much, let's see if we can catch it here. One, two, three. Yeah, there we go, awesome. We caught the Paris. 
Nice. So that's Ditto's out of the Pokedex. Awesome. First, the mushroom Pokemon. Uh, I forgot to mention the top right corner, as you see right there. It's, it's, I think it's footprint. Kind of looks like a little, like just like a foot, like a tadpole kind. I don't even know, but it's it's a Paris footprint apparently. It's Paris is the mushroom Pokemon. It's one feet, it's a foot tall. It weighs twelve and it weighs twelve pounds. It's number forty six in the uh, Jota decks. Uh, the te the technique show. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. The talk who sorrow. <laughs> I'm mispronouncing that, I know that. <laughs> Growing on its back, um, I think that's like s mushroom in a different language. It means mushroom in a different language, I guess. Uh, on the po on this Pokemon's back, orders it to extract juice from two trunks. Cool. Going to Paris. I'm just gonna, I think I've already used this thing for Paris in one of my previous Pokemon projects. But I'm just gonna name it Paris as like the, the um, the place on Earth. Paris, I guess you could say. <laughs> It's supposed to be a joke, but it's not really that funny to be honest, so I don't really expect you guys to find it funny. I'm just trying to be clever, I guess, but not really. Not really that clever. <laughs> yeah, I sent the bills, please. Oh, fudge. So, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna hatch my egg. Uh, actually, should be a good place to hatch your egg, your Togepi egg, real quick. I want to see magically just hatches on our way back, so I'm gonna let's show this just in case. So I'm gonna make my way back to the Pokemon Center. Obviously, I'm gonna, yeah, Pokemon on one counter, dang it. Okay, so, um, I was quiet there for a little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal, and I'm gonna hatch my Togepi egg, finally. Okay, so let's read this description. I think it may be still the same from last time, since it's close to hatching or something. It's making sense. It's going to hatch soon. Okay, so that's actually, uh, a better, um, update on it, you know, because it's about to hatch soon. So, here's a, here's a, um, place that I found that can easily hatch your, uh, Poke Togepi egg real quick. So I think it starts, like, right here. You just go all the way to the right, and it should be a good, like, walking path to hatch the egg and stuff. Because, like, it covers all this ground right here, and it's faster if you have a bicycle, but we're gonna get to bicycle soon when we get to Golden Rod City. But, uh, we just walk here for a little bit. And, uh, yeah. It's just we'll go back and forth. So I'm gonna cut to where it's, uh, we say, where it says, huh? And then, uh, the, that, I'll show when the, uh, Egg hatches into Togepi. So I'll see you guys in a second. Just keep on walking back and forth left to right on this route. Um, and eventually it will hatch because it's, um, you've been, as long as you've been carrying it around for a long time since you first got it in Violet City, you should, should hatch soon, honestly. So that's good at least. Huh? There we go. Awesome. The egg is gonna hatch into Togepi because I already know what it hatches into. Awesome. It's awesome now. Awesome. Cool. Togepi. I think I've used Togepi in one of my play- uh, Togetic, I should say, the final evolution form of Togepi, because Togepi wasn't into Togetic. Um, I've, I've used it in one playthrough of mine. So it makes a decent Pokemon. You can only Metro one, which is pretty cool. It's like rolling the dice on any Pokemon move, really. But it's like, it's random, and it picks a random move that it uses. That's kind of fun, I guess. Yeah, give it to Togepi. Um, let's name it, uh... I think I've already nicknamed my a Togepi in my past playthrough of a Pokemon game, Toga. But I'm gonna give it Toga right here. It's like Yoga but with a T. And replacing the Y with a T, so Toga. <laughs> Toga. Cool. So let's check out Toga's, uh, uh it hatches level 5 by the way, actually, I forgot to mention that. But let's take out its, uh, stats. It's a pure normal type, um, it has 100 HP, it has 100 experience points under its belt. It only needs 72 experience points to level, to level 6. It knows Growl and Charm. Its attack is 8, its defense is 11, its special attack is 10, its special defense is 12, and its speed is 8. And yeah, it's pretty cool. And it's a male too. Cool. So I'm gonna put Toga in the PC and withdraw um, Paris from the PC. So I'll meet you guys back outside the Pokemon Center. You know, outside when I was in the Pokemon Center uh, depositing Toga in the PC, I forget to call Professor Elm to say that the egg hatched. I'm gonna do that real quick. So yeah, um, let's go with Professor Elm. Call. Cool. Hello, Steven. How's the egg? What it hatched? What kind of Pokemon is it? Please come show me now. So I guess I'll cut all the way back to. F New Bark Town to show Professor Elm because he wants to see it. So let's see you guys in a second. Okay, on the way back, I'm about um the route south of Violet City right now. Uh, Bruce will get level 13 is just right there, so I'm gonna still cut to where we we're at <laughs> New Bark Town basically. Okay, here we are back in New Bark Town. We're gonna show Professor Elm the Pokemon that hatched from the egg, our Togepi. So let's talk to him. 
Steven looks looks great. Oh, he's all shocked now. What the, the, that Pokemon? The egg hatched? So Pokemon are born from eggs. No, perhaps not all Pokemon are. Wow, wow, there's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Steven, you're helping unravel the Pokemon mysteries for us. I want you to have this as a token of appreciation, of appreciation. We get the Everstone, which prevents the Pokemon from evolving. If you give it to Pokemon as a held item. So yeah. I won't be using Everstone because I want my Pokemon to evolve, but it's okay, that's an Everstone. Some species of Pokemon evolve. When they grow to certain levels, a Pokemon holding the Everstone won't evolve. Give it to a Pokemon you don't want to evolve. So I should give that to his Pikachu. <laughs> Although, it's pretty easy not to make Pikachu evolve, just don't give it the Thunderstone, basically. So yeah, is there anything else you say, by the way? I'm just curious. Steven, I'll call you if anything comes up. Okay, cool. Interesting. Now let's talk to the aide real quick. Let's give him some love, too. Sorry, that, that po stolen Pokemon. I wonder how that's doing. They say Pokemon raises by a bad trainer, but a person turns by itself. Oh man, that kind of stinks. So I'll meet you guys back outside, uh, in the Alex Forest, I should say, actually. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, I forget to pick up this item right here in this, uh, the Union Cave. It's a Great Ball, very worth picking up. I'm glad I uh, pointed that out, or I saw it, actually. Uh, my second time going through here, my third time, actually. So, again, I'll cut to where I'm in the Alex Forest, you guys. So see you guys in a second. Okay, so yeah, I kind of sped through the level up, but, um... Bruce was now level 14, awesome. So I'm gonna switch to, uh, switch to Sanders, actually. So yeah. Also, I do have Paris with me. So, um, let's take out, let's take the tiny mushroom for Paris. We can sell that for Poké Dollars. I might as well just teach, um, teach Cut and Flash to Paris right now, actually. So let's teach Cut first, I guess. And, uh, let's teach it to Paris. Paris on Cut, cool. And let's also teach Flash. And yeah, the Paris can also learn it. Cool. Paris learn flash. Awesome. So I'm gonna cut to f where, um, we're in the Alex Forces, I keep on saying. But again, if I, if something comes up like another level up or whatever, then, uh, I'll show it, I guess. Okay, so here we're back in the Alex Forest. I have Sanders up front, and, uh, yeah, I have Paris with me so I can use cut now. Cause I have the gym badge, the hive badge, just that we can learn that we have, that makes it, that help, allows us to use cut outside of battle. I'm gonna spray on a repel. And, uh, honestly, I'm I'm at 30, almost 32 minutes, yeah, I'm at just over 32 minutes of recording time. So I'm gonna end the part right here. So the next part, we'll take on the rest of the Alex Forest. And, uh, I'll hopefully make it all the way to Golden Mad City after that. So yeah, this has been Django again. I would like to thank you for goodbye. And I hope to see you guys next time on my Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough Guide.